Why did the White House just secretly meet with TikTok influencers after passing a law to ban the platform? Last week was an invite-only influencer event in Washington, D.C. Can't see the details? Interesting. And at the end of the day, we celebrated with a rooftop soiree and they had a whole sushi bar. Now, at this time, a handful of content creators were being emailed from the White House directly asking them to attend an event. Photos are starting to circulate. And we're not talking small influencers. One of the attendees decided to tag some of her new friends. Tens of millions of followers between them. Meeting with the likes of Democratic Cory Booker, Cory Bush, Maxwell Frost, Rashida Tlaib. Congress and the White House just passed and signed a bill to block the platform. But now the administration is meeting with the influencers? So I did some digging. The influencer event trending up was put on by a nonprofit called the 1630 Fund. They had a minimum paid for flights, hotels, and food for their invited guests. Trending up is a 501c4 nonprofit Democratic Dark Money Fund that pushes liberal and woke ideologies spending $400 million against President Trump in 2020 and an additional $196 million in 2022. The difference of a 501c4 from a c3 being that you can endorse candidates, political movements, and lobby without having to disclose the donors. The Atlantic, a left-leaning magazine, has called the 1630 Fund, quote, the undisputable heavyweight of Democratic dark money. The 1630 Fund, which ran the trending up private influencer event, who sent influencers to the White House for a secret private meeting, is administered by Arabella Advisors. The mothership company runs a massive progressive dark money group you've never heard of. And of course, as it always seems to be, there is money behind these slush funds. If I said guess two of the most diabolical billionaires in the US, who would you name? George Soros and Bill Gates. Why are these two on every single Dr. Evil list? So George Soros and Bill Gates, who has been not so quietly supporting the college protests, is also paying for TikTok influencers to meet with the Biden administration in private while also passing a bill to ban TikTok. The propaganda machine is ramping up. I said it before. The TikTok ban has nothing to do with protecting your data and everything to do with control.